over 30,000 mercenaries fighting for the Russian parliamentary Wagner group have killed or injured since the Ukraine war was began. White House spokesman John Kirby said the group has suffered significant losses in recent weeks, with about 9,000 fighters killed in action. Wagner has recruited heavily in Russian prisoners and Mr. Kirby said most casualties were untrained convicts. Despite the casualties, Wagner has made gains around the city of Bakhmut. Some of the fair case fighting for the war has taken in place around the eastern city, the Wagner mercenaries heavily involved in Russian efforts to capture it. Ukrainian troops say Wagner fighters had been sent into attacks in large number over open ground, and a Ukrainian army spokesperson said Moscow had failed to evacuate wounded and dead soldiers, leading to places where their bodies are just piled up. Capturing Bakhmut could allow Russia to make advances to bigger cities further west. However, Mr. Kirby, the U.S. National Sec- Security Council spokesman, suggested that further advances could prove difficult given the gain made in Bakhmut had taken months to achieve and come at a devastating cost. This is not suitable. He also questioned military significance of the city. Mr. Kirby told the reporters that it is possible that they may end up with successful Bakhmut, but it will prove of no real worth to, to them because it is no real strategic value. Elsewhere, the UK intelligence officials have estimated the Russian regular forces and Wagner troops may have suffered between 1,75,000 to 2 lakh casualties, including 40,000 deaths to 60,000 deaths. The UK's defense minister said the higher number of deaths was almost certain due to extremely rudimentary medical provision. The Wagner group was much similar before the war, with just 5,000 fighters, most of whom were experienced former soldiers. It started recruiting tens of thousands of fighters last year, largely from prisons. According to the US, as Russia had troubled finding troops for its invasion of Ukraine, half of those convicts have probably been wounded or killed. This was said by UK officials. But last week, Mr. Prigozhin, the group's founder, announced it would stop recruiting in prisons. The move followed long-standing tensions between Wagner and the Russian military. Additionally, he said the number of Wagner until uh, will decrease and we will also not be able to carry out the spoke of tasks that we would like to. The Prigozhin had blamed Moscow's monstrous bureaucracy for slowing down progress in Ukraine and accused the Russian army of unfairly taking credit of previous Wagner success. Wagner is believed to have started operations in 2014 in the annexed Saimar Peninsula and has since operated elsewhere in Ukraine, in Syria and across Africa. It has been accused brutally and war crimes.